Okay, so I'm just going to grab this mega scan asset here, which is a worn concrete. And so in the original scan, we have these cracks and things that you probably don't want for your tiles. Um, so what I'm going to do is use something called the mass paint and just quickly scrub the areas that I want removed. So I'm just going to pull some of these guys out. And then I'm going to use something called the seam removal, put that into the ignore mask and I'm just going to change the settings to zero. Since this is already tileable, I don't want any actual seam removal happening. And I'll just execute the node and we'll let that process. And what this is going to do is actually going to take the areas that you painted and remove them from the computation. And the AI is actually going to fill them up with like what's left over, which is like the tileable areas. So we'll just let that run for a little bit. And right away you'll see that all the other channels, so those cracks are gone, and you have like a, a pretty cool flat tiled version of the material now. So the next thing that you want to do is uh, we're going to use a mutation. We're going to change to 512 output. Um, so we're going to put the input scale, which is 2 meters by 2 meters, and our output to 1 meter. So now we're actually doing a textile density of um, 512 per meter based off of the world scale that I set in there. So this is going to be pretty good if you're using the existing scans and want to scale them down to like a, something a little bit smaller. Of course, you can always go to half a meter if you wanted to um, and then play with the pixel resolution for the output. And there we go. So now we have a 512. That's one by one. Uh, it's fully tileable on all the channels. So we're going to check out the tiling. So there's still a few artifacts that I want to kind of get rid of because the tiling is a little bit too much. So I'm going to use something called the mutation revision. And this is going to allow me to just spot heal certain sections to kind of get rid of that repetitiveness. Like so. So I'm just going to zoom back and just check it out. And then execute again. Zoom back again. And of course, you kind of keep fiddling with this as much as you want. And of course, this is working across the entire material.